What's up guys and welcome to my very first legit review of something that is going to be a game changer on my, well not just my vlogs but you know all the things I do, the cinematic stuff I do sometimes on the vlogs, you see that? And also for work, I'll get right to it. I've been so hyped, I've been very excited because this is the very first one wala pa akong hilahila, bas pagkagising ko ito agad yung unintindi ko dahil gusto ko agad to i-review. This is the BAM! This is... This is the Benro Red Dog R1. Um, so far, I haven't seen any reviews lately that is within my taste because of, um, you know, for starters, this is my very first gimbal and I'm, I've been watching a lot of reviews and I haven't understood any of it yet. But today I'm gonna make a legit review. Yeah, I'm gonna make a, a legit review. I'm gonna show some B-roll, how it's used, but there's, 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 you know, there's a lot of stuff to cover. But first, we're gonna go with the unbox. Yeah, this is gonna be the unboxing of it. So now, switch tayo sa camera natin sa taas kasi may camera tayo sa taas. Okay. We gotta make some effort with this review dahil nga isa to sa mga... Ewan ko, siguro first... We gotta make some effort to, you know, unboxing this because this is one of the first reviews that's been posted. I think so. And, okay, to start things off, we're gonna unbox it now. Open this thing right here. There you go. So, here, it's a carrying case and it's wrapped up, as you can see. I bought this actually for $399. So, Philippine peso, $18,000. It's $17,000. It's a Filipino peso. But yeah, I think carrying case. Uh, no, una, ang naisi ko is Feyotech ang bibilin kung gimbal, pero. Kapag decide ko na, alam mo yun, wala na raw kasing stock. So, medyo mali pa yun. Yan. You can see guys, sa nakikita nyo, merong Benro logo dito sa tapat. So, bubuksan na natin siya. I'm so excited because, yung yeah, first gimbal ko to, sana hindi ako malpak sa pag-review ng gimbal na to. Open it up. Not bad. Una sila at may carry in case na importante doon dahil dadarin mo to kahit saan. Actually, let's see. Damn, so, oops. May kita nyo guys, yan. Gitna natin na unti kasi may, mga, may viewers tayo dito sa taas. Yan. And yeah, there is an instruction manual. Operating instructions. Red dog. There you go. Now, this is the gimbal. You can see these wires. I think these wires, guys, ito, 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 yan. Ito mga wire na to. Para sa, ano to? Para sa mga... Pag-connect ng Sony camera, uh, you know, things like that. Kasi, Canon tayo. Gagamitin natin tong Red Dog R1 sa Canon M50 natin. To start things off, yung mga dapat yung malaman about dito sa gimbal na to. Meron siyang 12 hours na battery life. So, nakikita nyo. Ito yung dalawang battery. There you go. 12 hours battery life. Not bad. Kasi yung, yung ibang mga ano, 6 hours, I think. May mga ganun eh. Pero it's a good thing I got the 12 hours dahil bubugbugin natin yung paggamit ng gimbal halos. And you can also see the charger. This is the charger. Yan, di ba? Charge natin yan mamaya. Pero lulubatin muna natin para may exercise yung battery maigi. At itong gimbal na to can handle up to 1.28 kilograms. Parang wala akong kopya dito. Oh, 1.28 kilograms. Approximately ilang pounds yun. Convert yun lang. I'm not good with that. And it's a single hand control gimbal. Built-in wireless Bluetooth. Independent quick release plate. Ay, kita nyo. Ito yung gimbal, guys. So, may kasama na siyang... At may kasama na rin pala siyang... I think this is the belt bag for this case right here. At meron pa pala isa, guys. Wait lang. Kitawa na natin. Yan. There is this tripod which you connect on the bottom part of your gimbal. So, alisin mo natin itong case. Focus tayo sa gimbal. At lagyan natin yan. Put that in here. Oops. Ito natin na nalalagay yung battery. So, so ito pala yung sinasabi nilang feature sa Red Dog na I think ganito siya. Umpisa. But, meron siyang rotating motor dito para maging straight siya. Check it out. So, this gimbal, you can straighten it out like this. So, it could go straight up like a regular gimbal you've seen on the, you know, on people that used gimbals, I think. Sa mga cinematographer, may nakita nyo. But, you can also rotate it to that mode right there. You can, oh, snap. 
Um, yan, mabibuhat nyo yung gimbal pa ganito. Mabubuhat nyo rin siya pa ganyan. It's, 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 it's cool. It's an advantage. You know, especially when you're trying to get low angle shots, it would really help you out. I believe so merong app tong, tong gimbal na to. You can also do like, yeah, motion time lapses. Oh yeah, meron tong 3 modes. Pero guys, lagay mo natin yung battery. Let's put in the battery. So, we can check. You know, we can test it out. But at the end of this video, guys, um, we're we're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be witnessing some B-roll for, for, you know, for how this gimbal is used. So, putting in the batteries right now. Yeah. There you go. Place it in like that. Yeah. It's kind of heavy, though. Pero so far, I believe so, guys, no? Compared to other gimbals, it's an advantage to have to have the the thingy here, the axis thingy. Dahil um makakatulog din kasi sa low angle yun. Instead ng hawak mo siya ng steady lang. But it's I don't know. I, I kind of find it really useful. As you can see guys, there's this button switch here for like moving up, down, left, and right. And also these two things you can see that there is the photo, video, the I think this is the zoom in button. And this is the on and off switch. Hindi ko pa sure guys, pero yung app, magagamit ko siguro yung app sooner or later. So yun, hawak ko yung M50 ko para mas makita niya yung medyo maayos na view. So ito, as you can see, yun nga, meron siyang button here, two buttons here. Overall guys, build quality is not bad, dahil, you know, it's, it's, it's good. So far, it's good because you can see the Benro logo over there, a couple of details over there, see? And, uh, yeah, tripod mount, not bad. I think I could also mount this baby right here to a monopod right, that I have right here. Yeah, I could mount it up. I could really mount it up. So I believe so there are three modes sa gimbal na to. Meron siyang universal, meron siyang universal follow mode, lockdown mode, meron din siyang horizontal follow mode. Imagine no nagvo-vlog ka tapos ang gamit mo gimbal. Sobrang arke mo naman masyado. Masyado ng OP. So there are three things sa pagkakaalam ko sa gimbal na to. Okay, so first of all, kailangan mas ma-balance mo tong unti adjustment ko. Yeah. It has to be horizontal like this has to balance itself like that and then once it's good it's gonna be all set yeah there you go so next one is that here on this axis sing out three axis gimbal siya kailangan yung i-balance that ng parts you have to kailangan okay balance na siya which is which is good hindi <laughs> niya na kailangan so but this part oh balance na rin siya Balance na siya. At yan, guys, balance na po ang ating gimbal pagkatapos ng ilang oras ng pagkapa. Ngayon, ito turn on na natin yung gimbal. Now, we're gonna power on the gimbal, which is a proper term. Not instead of, you know, turning on the gimbal. And then, on switch. Damn! So, sa so nakikita nyo, guys, ito na po yung gimbal. Diba? So, magkakarap yun. This is camera inception. Vlogception. Sa nakikita nyo ito, 700D. Diba? Look at how stable that is. Yeah, it's it's quite heavy. Pero, excited na akong gamitin to guys. And of course, this deserves some proper B-roll. I mean, yung paggamit ng gimbal deserves some proper B-roll. So, meron tayong special guest na mag appear at the end of this video. So, andito kami ngayon sa labas at tinitesting namin itong gimbal. At meron nga siyang tatlong modes. Yung lockdown mode, which is yung gulay blue. Yung horizontal follow mode. Kapag tinitwist mo siya, sumusunod yung gimbal sa direction kung saan mo siya gusto pumunta. At saka yung... Ano isa? Ha? Lockdown. Yung lockdown mode. Yung kapag di nalang may ato tumis sa baba, titingin sa taas yung gimbal. Ah, ganun. So, ngayon, titestingin namin siya. Siya yung special guest ko. <laughs> Testingin namin sa M50 ng naka 120 tapos isang naka 60 ng naka lockdown.
tinatesting na namin yung gimbal. Nakuha na na namin. It, 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 dapat itatest namin isa pa kaso may aso na dun. So ito na yun. Yun, yun yung nakita nyo. And that concludes this gimbal review. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. At kita kits tayo sa susunod na vlog at sa mga darating pang videos and everything. Don't worry guys, may lalabas ako mga video pa na bago. For the month of December, that's a big yes. At siguro yung next vlog ko sa December 15, kasama ko ulit sila dyan. And um...